Yeah, so the main adaptations that occur in the heart uh, and also the liver as a result of endurance training are quite numerous uh, and they occur, occur quite quickly. So if we start with the heart first, so I've actually got a little model of the heart here. So essentially what you can see on in the heart here is lots of blood vessels on the surface of the heart and you can also see this kind of pinkish layer here which is the muscular part of the heart which is involved in contraction. Now what happens with exercise training particularly aerobic exercise training is we start to get an increase in the dilation of these blood vessels so these blood vessels become wider and that allows more blood flow to go to uh, the tissue here uh, and they also increase in number as well so they undergo a, um, a physiological process which allows more blood vessel formation so that means the heart can become um, better supplied with blood. Now this change is also happening in our skeletal muscles as well so when we start to do aerobic exercise we start to have more blood flow requirements from the working muscles because the muscles need more oxygen and nutrients so we start to get uh, better dilation or widening of the blood vessels and we also get an increase in the number of blood vessels and that increases uh, the blood flow to, to the tissue. Now in the heart we also have uh, strengthening of the heart muscle so the left ventricle in particular which is very important for pumping blood to the rest of the body that ventricle becomes more muscular and because it becomes more muscular each beat of the heart it can pump more blood to the rest of the body and that essentially means that our, for a given uh, heart rate or, for, or given contraction of the heart, we get more blood going to the rest of the body. It means that the uh, heart is working more efficiently and our heart rate, resting heart rate, often tends to reduce. So in people that do regular aerobic training, their resting heart rate tends to be lower because the heart pumps much more efficiently uh, with each beat of, of the heart. Also in the heart we have lots of uh, cells which are responsible for providing the energy to the heart for it to keep beating and again when we do aerobic training we tend to get improvements in those cells, we get an increase in those cells so the heart is able to use energy much more efficiently to pump blood to the rest of the body. So those are the main changes that are occurring in the heart. Now in the liver we know that the liver is very important for detoxification uh, and, it, and it's important in the regulation of various biological molecules. Um, it's also the site where cholesterol is uh, stored as well and it's also the site where cholesterol is actually used if, we, if it's needed elsewhere in the body. Now what happens with exercise is as you start to do aerobic and uh, resistance training you start to have a number of changes within uh, the liver and some of those include a reduction in the cholesterol levels particularly harmful cholesterol like triglycerides they tend to reduce after about six months of aerobic endurance training um, and you also have an increase in uh, what we call antioxidant activity so antioxidants are these uh, molecules in the body which prevent damage from these other cells called free radicals or these other molecules called free radicals. So by doing that we're able to then re reduce the amount of inflammation as well. So the anti-inflammatory activity of the liver increases which reduces inflammation within the body and, and we know that having inflammation is, is not uh, a good condition to have because it causes damage to various tissues in the body. So by doing exercise you increase the amount of anti anti-inflammatory molecules that the liver releases which help to reduce the, the inflammation levels as well. Um, so these are some of the main changes that happen in the heart and the liver as a result of uh, aerobic training uh, but just related to the kind of topic that we're talking about today. Obviously the liver is important for the transport of glucose and the storage of glucose as well. So by doing exercise training you actually help to promote glucose storage in the liver and that helps, to helps you to control your blood glucose uh, much better and it can help to uh, reverse insulin resistance particularly if you're in a stage where uh, it's not progressed to type 2 diabetes. Uh, so by doing exercise training you can actually help to, to lower your blood glucose levels because more of it gets stored into the liver. So yes, those are the main changes that happen uh, in the heart and the blood vessels. After a, a few weeks to a few months of endurance, aerobic exercise uh, and also resistance training as well.